Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Small City, the spring expansion. All right, let's take a look. Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, I really do appreciate that support. Thank you so much. So the front of this box definitely looks nice and spring-like. The back, mm, the good news is, I mean, it's an expansion. So <clears throat> I'm glad to see what you get, so to speak. But it doesn't really look all that impressive from the back end of it. Now, I do really like this game. This is one of the few City Builder solo games that I have kept over the years. And the reason is, is because it feels like a City Builder solo, and it's fun. <clears throat> All right, so let's look inside when the, we have the contents here. So first and foremost, we're getting some different player maps. Hang on. And one of the things that I just didn't love about the actual base game, which they have addressed i've been told in some of these newer expansions is that the solo mode itself you when you played on like the advanced side most of the conditions were not solo friendly at all in fact none of them made sense maybe one and it was really kind of a question of like well why does that even exist okay what is going on here if i mean it just it felt a little little lazy so i'm glad that they put something in there to address this not this thing is really not behaving but i don't want to rip anything okay strange all right first time i've had to use my teeth to open something in about 10 years okay so anyway looks like on this side here we've got some forests and then over here another forest one we have this one with like a lake and a river this is rome so rome and zurich here we have more of the forest ones yeah it's just a single thing these are really pretty thin i know there it's just that's the way it is, and I'm okay with that because they won't, um, they won't spin on me from a warpage standpoint. But they are really pretty thin. All right, got London. Huh, well, London's just open. <clears throat> Helsinki not so open. Okay, so more. So it looks like we probably have just like a bunch of those forests that you can play. Um, all right, so there we go. So those are the new, new uh, city layouts. Then from our standpoint, I think this is like multi-language. So you're going to have your components in here telling you about them. So we've got some special action cards here, the Anarchist Endgame. Uh, there's the Traders. So this is the second one. Here, terrain board expansion overview and okay no so this is not multi-language this is all information on how to play all of these different expansions so lots of stuff in there which is good and then we have more of the components here so we've got what look like the roads here <clears throat> And these are all good, medium thickness quality. We've got roundabouts and some other buildings to add to our repertoire. Okay, and then over here, we have a bunch of different meeples here and then some more cards. So hopefully these will fit in the, the main box, but if not, we'll have to end up combining because I know I have the winter and the main game board in the main box. Now these cards are a little bit on the thin side. I'm gonna definitely sleeve them. Um, and we'll see if these end up being helpful in regards to some of the other more solo-friendly things. So we'll see. Hopefully they will be. All right. So a decent amount of content in, a, in the box as far as different modules. There's a lot, you know, with each of those, there's going to be a lot to explore and these as well. So I'm happy about that. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to do in the future, I really hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy.